everyone. Uh, my name is Sean Tabrizi, and yeah, I'll be talking to you about Substrate, and I'll be talking about some of the things we've been doing at Parasimologies the last year. Um, yeah, so a little bit about myself. Um, I was originally working at Microsoft in cloud identity and cloud infrastructure. Um, uh, it was at my time at Microsoft that I learned about Ethereum. I got really interested in DAP development, and eventually I joined Perry Technologies, where I've been working on Substrate ever since. Um, I'm going to be honest, uh, I love my job. Uh, it's, we're working on some of the coolest stuff at Parity. And if there's one thing I can convince you of at the end of my presentation is that the things we're building are as cool as I'm hyping them up to be. Um, yeah, so when I actually I joined Parity right about the time of Web3 Summit last year. I hadn't moved to Berlin yet, but uh, I was watching on the computer in California, and I watched Gad's presentation on a rustic vision for Polkadot. It was during this talk that he described um, Basically, that Polkadot is his biggest bet against blockchain maximalism and towards a vision of a multi-chain future. And so I want to convince you first why we think that there should be a multi-chain future. First, why is the future going to have blockchains? Well, blockchains can help solve trust problems. Blockchains are public. They're decentralized, distributed, and individually verifiable. They really echo the saying we have at Web3 Summit, saying less trust and more truth. Then why will there be multiple of them? Well, I think we think specialization, or We've seen that blockchains that can do everything can't quite do anything the best. And so through specialization, through designing a blockchain, which has a specific functionality, a specific purpose, we can actually improve the scalability issues that we're seeing in the blockchain space. And finally, interoperability. We want to be able to have these different specialized blockchains to talk to each other, communicate, and be able to um, work with one another, be able to add value uh, to the network, add real world value. And so really, it's uh, building this multi-chain future of interoperable blockchains that we really think will power the Web3 future. Um, this is kind of what that looks like in the, world, in the context of Polkadot. You can see around the outside edge, we have these different blockchains. We call them parachains, which are all connected to a relay chain, another blockchain, which is represented by this ring. And it's through this configuration that these blockchains are able to communicate, interoperate, and work together, all these specialized blockchains. And so you might be asking, though, I'm talking, talking to you about Substrate. How does Substrate play into this picture? Well, Substrate is a framework for building blockchains. From day zero, Substrate has been designed to be extensible, modular, and open source. And these are all of the uh, philosophies that drive the development of Substrate day to day. Substrate provides you with all of the core components you need to build a blockchain, things like a database, networking, a transaction queue, consensus engine, and even a library of runtime modules, which I'll talk about next. Um, each of these different components can be customized and extended for your needs. So let's talk about the Substrate runtime. Um, it's probably the most exciting part about Substrate, in my opinion. Um, the runtime is what we call the block execution logic, or the state transition function for a blockchain. In Substrate, the uh, runtime is composed of these different modules. And so you can see here an example module, or example runtime, which has all these different modules kind of picked and choose from it. I'll give you an example here. There's this balances module. Balances module basically describes the functionality of a cryptocurrency on this blockchain. If you want to build a smart contract platform, you just need to add the contracts module. What's so exciting about this platform is that you can go ahead and design your own runtime modules. And we actually envision that this module library might become like a larger app ecosystem, where there'll be developers building all these open source runtime modules. And you, as a blockchain developer, can just pick and choose the different functionality and logic that you want to add to your blockchain and just put it in there and launch your chain. It's really exciting. And so really, what I'm trying to tell you is that it's never been easier than today to be able to build a blockchain. With Substrate, you can literally build a blockchain in minutes. And so going back to our vision, we have this, uh, we have this ecosystem of different blockchains, each with their own uh, special functionality. We have a relay chain, which itself is a blockchain, which can connect these blockchains together. And ultimately, they're all providing value to each other in a shared network. And so for me, as a Substrate developer, this is really what I see. <laughs> I show this to my friends. They say I work way too much. but. Uh, <laughs> uh, Basically, what I'm trying to say is that Substrate provides you all of the tools that you need to be able to build customized blockchains and even build this relay chain that powers the Polkadot network. We're actually building Polkadot using the Substrate framework. Now, I don't want to be mis misconstrued here. If you build on Substrate, you don't have to connect the Polkadot network for it to work. We know and we, we believe there will be many Substrate chains that will have their own independent networks running kind of solo. Um, in addition, if you want to build on Polkadot, you don't have to start with Substrate. Polkadot is obviously an open protocol. We believe there'll be other frameworks for you to build blockchains. But we want to make Substrate the absolute best platform for building blockchains. And so we really hope at Parity Technologies that there'll be many more Substrate chains, both on and off the Polkadot network. But this isn't an easy vision to achieve. How are we actually going to get there? How are we going to get all these people building Substrate chains? Well, we want to make Substrate, again, the best platform for blockchain innovators. 
and I want to share some of the things we've been doing over the last year of Pair Technologies to make this true. First, something that hasn't changed since day one is Substrate is free, and it always will be. This means that you get all of these awesome features, all of the knowledge and experience from the world's best blockchain engineers at your fingertips. You just need to go to our GitHub repository and clone it. Speaking of GitHub, I want to show you kind of the extent of how big a project Substrate is. You can see it's thousands of commits, over, well over 100,000 lines of code, lots of contributors, all working to build this open source platform. But what's really exciting is that over the last year, how much it has grown. Here are the same statistics, but just growth over this last year. 200% growth in commits, 600% growth in forks, way more contributors. I think Substrate is moving at massive speed. And even as an engineer working at Parity, I can tell you that it's moving at blazing speeds. And it's really an awesome thing to, to see in a, in a new framework like this. Um, we've also been trying to foster a community of technical developers. One way we've been doing that is by having this open uh, forum or sort of open chat um, called Substrate Technical, where people can go and get together and basically ask questions, get design decisions. Uh, you know, if they have problems with Rust or anything, they can basically come here and find other like-minded developers who can uh, want to talk with them and help them out. What's awesome about this, uh, this chat here is that you get direct access to the Parity engineers who are working on the software that you're building on. Um, in fact, the most common poster in this channel is Gav himself. So if you have questions, if you're looking, uh, I don't know exactly what to do, I don't know exactly how to do it, you might even get Gav here to make a recommendation on what you should be doing for your next blockchain. But it's not about just building a technical community, it's about building a global community. And so we've been putting a lot of effort going around the world, um, sharing, doing meetups, presentations, workshops, all around the world, sharing about Substrate. And these meetups are awesome opportunities to connect locals in the area. We really do hope that when people come, that they not only learn new things, but they make new friends, and hopefully even new business partners in the future, all building on Substrate. Now, blockchain, obviously, I mean, or Substrate is obviously a platform for building blockchains, but really, the blockchains themselves can't be successful without an ecosystem of tools to really enable them to all work. Um, and Substrate really provides all that, and we've been building different ecosystem tools at Parity. For example, uh, extensible front-end libraries, light client support from day zero, um, hardware wallets, and even a new smart contract language based on Rust called Inc. And when you build on Substrate, you get access to all these same ecosystem tools to help enable and power your blockchain to actually work. And finally, I've shared a lot of resources here, and we're trying to collect all of these resources in this hub for developers. We call it the Substrate Developer Hub. And it's at this URL where you can go and find things like tutorials, videos, documentations, anything you need to get started, whether you're an experienced or inexperienced blockchain developer. Um, again, everything on this developer hub is absolutely free, it's open source, and it's open to community contributions. So we're looking really to not just write our own docs and just put it out there. We want looking for, to build a community of people who want to give feedback and give back to the community and actually help build a better ecosystem for everyone. And it's through all these tools that we've actually helped enable a bunch of teams actually build on the Substrate ecosystem. Here are just some of them. Um, to call out a few, we have Kilt, who's building a protocol to allow users to attest any kind of information, like identity, which is enabling a future of self-sovereign um, data. Or you have Centrifuge, which is building an open, decentralized platform for connecting the global supply chain. Um, finally, we have Pokescan, who's a team building a multi-chain block explorer, who um, basically allow anyone who's building on Substrate to get their own block explorer and even have a block explorer for Polkadot. And so these are just some of the teams um, trying to build a better future. And really, Substrate is a start towards building a better future. But the truth is, I can't tell you what that future is going to be. I think no one can tell you what the future is going to be. Of course, we have a vision. We kind of hope it goes in a certain direction, but no one really knows. But that's awesome, because Substrate is a framework which will provide solutions to whatever the future may hold. And I think that's really, really powerful. So everyone in this room here, I think, has an idea for what they think the better future might be. And I hope that you look at Substrate and see that it might be a tool that can help you get there. And so really, you can get started building on Substrate today Oops. by going to the Substrate Developer Hub and take a look and see if the tools and the resources we provide to you may help you get to a better Web3 future. Thank you so much. <laughs>